Hello and welcome to Philips CFD Web Education Series. My name is Nicholas and today I'll be going through a short lesson on types of CFD. Once again, before we start, I'd like to inform you that the information provided are for education purpose only. So let's go! You might be asking, how different can CFDs be? Aren't they all the same? CFD, CFD DMA, what do they all mean? Let me explain it to you now. There are generally two different types of CFD instruments. One, CFD. Two, CFD DMA, or in other words, CFD Direct Market Access. Before you get confused, let us go through CFDs first. Under the CFD product, there are generally two types of CFDs offered by Philips Securities. The first is Share CFD. Share CFDs, as you would have guessed it, it consists of equities which are tradable across different markets and this include Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia and US. Price listed on these accounters are all reflective of the live prices available on the exchange. There are no additional spreads in the prices that you will see in our platforms. Next, we have World Indices CFD. What are they, you might ask? Well, they are basically indices from various world markets. Just to name a few, we have the Straits Times Index, the Hang Seng Index, Nikkei 225, the Dow Jones and many more. All these properties are similar to CFD DMA as well. Well, then now you will ask me, what is the difference then? Let me go through with you the main differential factor of direct market access. In essence, from the name itself, direct market access allows you to participate in the market directly. Hence, you will be participating in the order book of exchange giving you the direct access to the liquidity of the market. In contrast to normal CFD account where orders are submitted and executed via Philips Securities hedging desk, this account does not go through this route and it will definitely be reflected on the exchange. Therefore, whenever you place an order, it is directly executed on the exchange. On top of this, CFD DMA also has other unique features. Now, on top of allowing you to participate in the order book of exchange, DMA also allows you to submit orders in the pre-opening and pre-closing market periods. It also allows you to submit orders overnight except for the hours between 5.05 to 5.15 p.m. and between the hours of 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. In addition, orders that are submitted are based on last done price, giving you the opportunity to trade on live exchange prices. One important point to note is that a CFD order cannot be used to close out a DMA position and vice versa. Do make sure you enter your trade position correctly to prevent opening multiple positions. Let's do a quick recap on what we have learned today. Firstly, there are two types of CFDs. First is Equities CFD, where you can trade both share prices as well as world indices. Next is the CFD Direct Market Access, or in other words, CFD DMA. We have learned that you may trade live share prices and participate in the order book of exchange, thus allowing you to participate in the market liquidity. Orders are also based on last done price. Next, you may also participate in the pre-opening and pre-closing. And finally, you may also submit overnight orders. That is all we have today, and I do hope you can differentiate between CFD and DMA. We will see you in the next video which is titled Corporate Actions.